Kristen here of the Studio Knit Show. As you can see, today's video is inspired by the girls with glasses. We are participating in Kin's Holiday Ornament Exchange collaboration. And after watching my video, make sure to check out all the other videos in the playlist. You can see all the other ornaments that were gifted and find out how you can make them for yourself. And I received this really cool handmade holiday card from, let's see, oh, it's Megan Allen Cole. I love her. She is one of my very favorite YouTube DIY channels. I cannot wait to see the ornament that she made. Oh, it's inspired by my channel Studio Knit. It is so cute. Look at these. These yarn ornaments are really great to make for your fellow knitting friends. So let's make sure to check out her how-to video after you watch mine. Thanks so much, Meg. I love them. Since my ornament is inspired by the girls with glasses, I'm thinking eyeglasses. Mod Podge, Vintage Fashion, and of course, Glitter. Brooke and Summer of the Girls with the Glasses, they are pros at making thrift store finds new again. So I'm starting with these old reading glasses. <laughs> Just a little twist of the hinges, and off come the arms. With these wire cutters, I'm simply scoring along the bridges, and that separates each lens. It's so much easier than I thought it would be. Now online, I found these glamorous retro Vogue fashion magazine covers, and they totally remind me of the girls with glasses. And look, they all feature eyeglasses. Perfect. My lenses measure two by one inch, so I'm going to size and print the images and then cut them out in the shape of each lens. The girls with glasses create lots of magic with just a little bit of Mod Podge. So let's brush some on both sides of our Vogue covers for a little decoupage action onto the back of our eyeglasses. So cool. I'm loving the eyeglass shape. And you know, we could stop right here. But this is the holidays and the girls with glasses are always rocking the glitter. So let's get to sprinkling. Brush on more Mod Podge, pile on lots of the glittery stuff. Once your ornament has dried, wipe away any stray glitter on your lenses. You just use a dry brush or even your fingernails works too. I'm making a simple ornament hanger with just some fishing line and a bit of hot glue and that way they'll just float on their Christmas tree. So glam. I really hope Brooke and Summer enjoy their holiday ornaments. And I hope you are inspired to make totally original and customized holiday ornaments for your friends too. We have lots of fun here at Studio Knit. So if you have always wanted to learn how to knit, Make sure to hit like and subscribe. This is the place where you are finally going to learn how to not only knit, but totally fall in love with it. Make sure to check out my other Kin community friends. I know you will love them too. Oh, and remember, stay glassy.